Hi, welcome to CTN Member Highlights. I'm Leslie McVean, and my guests today are from the Greater Portland Landmarks. Hillary Bassett, Executive Director, and Chris Kloss, who is the Preservation Advisor. Yes. Great, welcome. Thank you. And Pleasure we're going to talk about something special that's coming up fairly soon, and that's a deadline for an award that you're going to be giving out. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it and um, how people can submit nominations for this preservation award? Well, Greater Portland Landmarks is offering a preservation awards program this year that's a little bit more expanded than we've done in some recent years. We're actually seeking nominations in a couple of different categories, structures and landscapes. So that would be buildings, and it could be buildings of any type. So it could be a personal home all the way to an institutional structure, a church, a public library. It could be any, uh, a variety of different kinds of structures and landscapes, which would include parks or other kinds of landscape improvements. Uh, and then there's also another category called people and programs. And those are the people who get things to happen in preservation. And that's very broadly defined. Well, that sounds exciting. Uh, Chris, do you want to talk about the age of these um, submissions? I mean, you can't send something in on a house that was built 10 years ago and they did a little bit of remodeling over the past 10 years. It has to have some age to it. That's right, uh, Leslie. Uh, there are some criteria, and I can go over those briefly. Um, the, uh, w what we're looking for are projects that were completed uh, within the last five years. Uh, that is between January 1, 2009 and June 30th of this month, this year. Um, the age of the buildings themselves uh, is not so much uh, a criteria. We obviously are looking for older structures, uh, but we're also looking for compatible new development within historic districts, which we call infill. So the quality of design uh, becomes important uh, in, in new structures or additions to historic buildings as well. So those are part of the, uh, will be part of the submissions. Well, that's really interesting because I know there has been a lot of that happening, especially up on Munjoy Hill in the, in the greater Portland area, mm -hmm. that um, you know, it's been interesting to see how mm -hmm. they've fit buildings into a neighborhood that has been rather mm -hmm. traditional. Um, and I also want people to know that the greater Portland area includes... It's, it's Portland and surrounding towns like Cape right. Elizabeth, Falmouth, Westbrook, Scarborough, uh, Cumberland, Cumberland, Cumberland yeah. um, Long so Island. A, a number Long of Island, the, right. the, the, the greater <laughs> contiguous greater Portland area. Right. And I also wanted to, to say that when we talk about an historic building, we're really talking about a building that's 50 years old or older, but it's really a, about an old building that retains its its character. Okay. And just to, to clarify as far as what is a, what is a mm -hmm. quote, historic building. Well, and I suppose the idea that the buildings that are being built now will have that longevity mm -hmm. attached to them so that, you know, 50 years from now or 100 years from now, the buildings being built today will still have that integrity um, right. to fit into what a landmarks is considered. We right. like to think of those buildings as the landmarks of the future. Yeah. So quality and integrity of design and, and uh, of, of materials is important. I love that. Now, how do people go about making these nominations um, for the, the consideration? There's, there's an application form, and it's on our Greater Portland Landmarks website, uh -huh. which is www.portlandlandmarks.org. And it's pretty simple. It really is to talk about what is the, what is the project, uh, show us some before and after images and make a case for why is it award worthy, the quality of the work done it, the opportunity to bring back historic features, uh, just bringing back a building that was needing, needing some, some care and attention. Mm -hmm. Um, and then um, just to send it in um, actually in the form of a CD and a hard copy so that our, our jury can look at it and then make a judgment. And if they want to find out more information um, or be reminded of what we've just talked about, they can go to your web website, right. which is? Yep, portlandlandmarks.org. Okay. And they could also call us at 774-5561. And uh, we can provide more guidance if they mm -hmm. need, if they have specific questions about whether their project. And qualifies. I think there will be a lot of questions. You know, um, when you talk about landscaping, does that landscaping have to be attached to 
a structure to a building that is, or can it be a park that has been restored? Um, I think we have kind of a, a, a broader idea of that, and mm -hmm. I think our intent, but, but obviously we'll be very responsive to a creative application. Yeah. Our intent there was to make sure that historic landscapes were included, such as, and I think our, our thinking was parks, but it also could be design landscapes associated with uh, a property. Right. So I, and I'm thinking there are uh, examples where somebody, a homeowner or a property owner has restored a building and the grounds, and the grounds. of the, mm -hmm. so that certainly would be something right. that would be eligible. It could include a cemetery also, or the restoration of a cemetery. Oh, so. oh right. that's, that's yeah. interesting to know yeah. too. So it's quite broad, um, mm -hmm. quite exciting, open mm -hmm. to creativity as you exactly. say, and I think people will be really excited about submitting to this. And the key date is July 14th. That's the deadline for the submission of nominations. All right. And then when will the presentation <coughs> be? It's going to be September 29th at the Merrill Auditorium. We have a very special opportunity this year to be at Merrill, so we thought let's really celebrate our award winners. Oh, yes. And I do want to encourage people if they're thinking about nominating their own property that, mm -hmm. to do so, because I know sometimes people are a little bit shy about uh, tooting their own horn, but right. this is a chance to really bring attention to some good projects right. to inspire others to to also preserve their buildings and landscapes. Well, we're going to have to go, but um, I think it sounds really exciting, and I hope people will, you know, listen to this and submit applications because it's 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 really important to the longevity of our city and the beauty of it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah.